Hi. Hi, Society Stitchers. I'm Katie. I'm Laura. We're missing Athena. But that's because Athena is going to hop on to these videos occasionally because mm -hmm. over on her channel, she's actually doing her own trick-or-treat updates every day. Yes. And her channel is Stitching Goddess Designs. Yes. Uh, she is also out with one of our friends who is down from Canada today. Uh, they went to a cross-stitch shop. Actually, they went to Reflections up in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. So um, it, we love that shop. But we are here for the trick or treat unboxing and to to do the 13 stitches of Halloween. Yes. Yes. I almost said starts. I had to stop myself. There for a second. <laughs> Not 13 starts. Not 13 this year. starts. OK, so you want me to go ahead and scratch? Sure. Let's talk about this real quick. Yes. So if you got this box, you have the big card. Make sure that you use a coin. Do not use scissors or anything like that. Um, and uh, don't press too hard. You're going to want to do it on here. Um, I didn't want to shake it. I know. But um, if you press too hard, you will take off the ink underneath. Um, we had somebody in our group who got a little vigorous with their scratching oh, no. today. and was like, I can't read what's underneath now. Okay, well, see, now I'm not pushing hard enough, but this could just be, okay, please do it. Okay, here. I'm like not being successful. We're just gonna shake the whole table. It's fine. Ah, shake, rattle and roll. This is Woo. when you guys should be looking shake, down at your cross stitch. There you go. You can read that, right? I think I can. Okay, so, we ready? Uh-huh. I don't know. If Look I'm at gonna... the cute little bag. I love the little dancing guy. <laughs> Okay, here, here it comes. There we go. Planchette three inch square by Doodle by Meg. Start your Halloween projects off right with this handy corner measuring tool. Um, you wanna explain it because we have had questions about how to use this. Yes, and I just sniffed it because yes, uh, we had this- Glow Forge. Yes, we made this on the Glow Forge. Uh, we hired Doodle by Meg to do the artwork on it. Um, and I think it turned out so cool. I love the moon, that the moon is in relief because of the glow forge. Yes. So, um, so a three inch, inch square is a useful tool if you are a corner starter or if you have to start on a corner mm -hmm. for a piece, like in a kit or something. I'm just gonna hold this so, for a guy. I start up here in this corner normally. So if you hold it in the corner, right flush with the edge of your um, fabric, then doing this backwards. Here, guys, you want me yeah. to do it for you? Well, I got it. <laughs> Right here is three inches. So if you need to measure in three inches on your piece to start, you just measure in right to this corner right here. Um, and then I also made a two and a half inch hole and a two inch hole, wrong direction, there we go, two inch hole. Um, so you can start your piece in a little further up if you want to. Mom and I actually tend to be two inch starters rather mm -hmm. than three inch starters most of the time. Um, I know that a lot of you who use like the roller frame and um, even the um, scroll rods, Q-snaps. Q-snaps, thank you. I went brain dead. That you do sometimes need a little extra. So, and we hope you love this. Yes. And uh, sniff it. We love to sniff it. So it's, it's lost some of its smell. It used to be a lot stronger when I, when I was doing all the scraping and stuff. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's day one. Now, stitching. Yes. Um, I haven't stitched yet today. We've had a busy day actually cleaning up from the trick-or-treat box. We've been gathering all of the extras and putting them together so that they can be inventoried. Um, but tonight we get to stitch with our regular uh, Friday night group. So um, I am planning on pulling out. Rattle, rattle. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> um, I am planning on doing Rotted But Not Forgotten which you can see here on the cover of Just Cross Stitch Magazine 2012, the Halloween issue. Um, but Katie could not wait to start. Yeah. So I started this one last year, actually, and then I pulled it out at Galleria and made a lot of good progress. Mm -hmm. And then um, I pulled it out last night and was stitching on it. So I'm actually nearly done with it. So I actually think I'm going to have a finish tonight. That'll be exciting. Um, so I will show you guys hopefully a finish tomorrow. Um, but if I do finish that tonight during um, stitching, then I also have another Just Cross Stitch. Um, and it is, I'm trying to make sure I don't show you guys the pattern. A candy a day keeps the monsters away from <laughs> Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, and then I actually worked on this one at Galleria too. And the reason I switched over to Rada but not Forgotten was because I realized 
I pulled a brown instead of a black for the inside, so I stopped. But this is how far I got during Galleria. So did you find a black now? Well, I might steal the black out of Rotted But Not Forgotted, which is oh, why I worked on it. Oh, okay. Um, it's Raven. Um, so I might steal that out of there to do the lettering and the eyeballs on here. So there you go. Awesome. And are you switching? How often are you planning to switch projects? I don't really have a plan at this exact moment. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> um, so I have a mix of new starts and whips, and I did put them on a wheel. I have a couple that I didn't put on there because I'm definitely starting them. But uh, one of my new starts for this year is Nevermore, and it's one that I had definitely planned to start because I wanted to do it last year. Um, this one is from Leela's Studio. I think you're probably all familiar with it. And I actually wanted to start it when we were live and in person with our Friday night friends. So I did. You guys, it's so exciting. There it is. <laughs> and I'll show you what I do because this thing is, I thought maybe it said it right on the front. It's like 167 stitch, I don't know, however many wide. It's, it's quite a ways wide. So what I do, is I start at the end and I leave every 10th stitch uncrossed because this was a um, an overdyed floss. So then I will pick those up and it'll be pretty easy to pick them up because um, I use the same color to come right back. So it's just a good trick if you're if you're using a more solid you know what? I just totally showed you the back. I'm like, why were there I holes? I was wondering. There it is. Does that look more reasonable? <laughs> if I could figure out my ways. There you go. And I put, I got to the end and I put, wrong side, because it's all backwards. I put this one stitch up higher right here. Yes, we're really throwing mom off. She normally records on Zoom and that's where we record with Athena. But because we're doing this, just the two of us, we're recording on QuickTime today. Yes. And so it doesn't it doesn't flip things the right way. So really, I'm not on the side that, yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah. It's backwards. But anyway, that's it. So I left every 10th one uncrossed, and um, I will cross them when I get to the next part of the border, which I should be able to work on tonight. I do have another project I've been working on, but we'll see. Okay. So that's it. We will check in with you guys tomorrow. We will reveal gift number two and we'll show you what progress we made and what we're going to stitch on next. Okay. Bye. Bye.